Good morning, everybody. Josh Ezel, Breakthrough Real Estate Property Management and Handyman Services. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Today, I have one of my favorite stories. This is one of my first memories, and it happens to include real estate, and it happens to involve um, burning bricks and going down a hill. You don't want to miss it. Before we get into today's video, please check out our links below. We got an awesome store that has some breakthrough swag. We just got these awesome shirts in. This says this is our more fashion line. It says breakthrough right across the top, and it's a plant breaking through some asphalt. Uh, this is more of our core fashion shirts. Check out our store. Hopefully, you like it. Agents, if you're looking for an awesome brokerage that is exploding, that offers you leads, support, training, everything you're looking for, give breakthrough a call call us today I would love to talk to you buying selling investors if you're looking for the perfect properties I and our agents can absolutely help you we are the best agents we have the best training as you heard earlier we take great care of our agents um, once you purchase your property we'd love to manage it for you so check out our management company we have an amazing system it's built on several pillars that will guarantee your property is maximized and getting well taken care of and you're not going to get the calls in the middle of the night. Last but not least, our handyman company. We are affordable. We are prompt. We are professional. All of us have some sort of access to some sort of properties and that property, chances are, needs some work done. Give us a call whether you're a tenant, a homeowner, an investor, property management company. Um, we're even doing some work now with some hotels. So we would love to take care of you. Give us a call. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into today's story. I'm so happy to share today's story because it has to do with everything that is almost meaningful in my life. It has my dad, my grandpa, it has California, it has properties. I love it. So this, this takes place around 1985. 86 and I grew up in Palmdale Lancaster California which is about 60 miles north of LA um, it's also called the Antelope Valley if anybody's familiar and my dad pastored a Baptist church there in town anybody familiar with small Baptist churches and pastors you know that those pastors do it for the love they do it for the calling they do it for for the impact that they can and need to make, not for the income. So as long as I can remember my dad being a pastor, I could also remember my dad supplementing income with investments. And we would go look at properties. Now, sometimes we would go look at properties together and my dad had a late, like a mid 70s convertible Triumph Spitfire. Now those were the best days because we would go whipping around, you know, the hills, we'd go up to Tehachapi. It, it was some great times. And I, to this day, some, I'm going to get a green Triumph Spitfire um, just, just for because. But on this particular occasion, 1986, that's when it was. On this particular occasion, my dad invited my grandpa to go with us. So you had the three of us in my dad's 1986 Nissan hard body pickup truck basically brand new at the time so we all hop in grandpa and I have no idea where we're going I'm in the middle grandpa's here and my dad's driving so we start heading up into the hills next thing you know we're on a dirt road and it just keeps going up and when I say up we're talking uphill but we're talking a, a reasonable grade and it keeps going up, keeps going up. And to be quite frank, I don't remember this property. <laughs> it could have been a lot. It could have been a couple acres. It could have been a number of things, but I don't remember because it didn't matter. I really don't think my dad bought this property because we never went back again. What I do remember is turning around and heading back down. Now my grandpa was career Navy uh air traffic controller doesn't phase easily my my dad is a pastor he has a radio show he has a counseling center i mean my dad my dad's like 
let's call my dad pretty pretty tough guy, right? We start going down the hill. Next thing you know, you smell some brakes. And my dad starts getting a little nervous. You can tell he's got both hands on the wheel. After a minute or two, my grandpa looks over and he's like, uh, hey Mike, everything okay? You know, uh, it's a little, this is a little precarious. You got a big old cliff on the right hand side and we're going down these like steep, windy roads. And my dad kind of looks over, he's like, you know what, to be, I think you you and Josh should get out and probably walk, walk down. Um, that way, in case something does happen, at least it's <laughs> only one of us. Horrible thought, but true. Grandpa says, okay, so we get out of the truck and dad starts slowly heading down and we're walking behind. And after about 30 seconds or so, dad kind of goes around a bend and you can't see dad anymore. You could kind of hear the truck, but you could kind of see the dust kind of uh, coming off the side of the hill or the mountain. And so we couldn't see him, but you know, you could kind of see get the gist of where he was kind of heading. So we're just walking down and we're just hoping, you know, we, we smell the brakes. As we're walking down, we are smelling the brakes. And you hear, eventually dad kind of, the sound of his truck kind of goes away, but you could still see the dust. So all we could kind of think is, okay, as long as we can see the dust is good, but we really don't want to hear the sound. You all know what I'm talking about. We don't want to hear that sound. So we're walking, we're walking, and after a while, he's a ways away, and we don't see dust, but we didn't hear a sound. So Grandpa and I keep walking, and probably 10, 15 minutes later, we, we finally make it to the bottom. And I, I'm not joking, I remember that smell so distinctly today that of my dad and those brakes. I mean, you know 1980s, it was not the technology that you have today. You know what I mean? And you know he was riding the transmission as much as he could. I mean, oh geez. So, needless to say, I can only imagine how my grandpa felt knowing that that was my dad, his son, and then that was my dad driving. <laughs> so when we finally came up and saw my dad, as ridiculous as it sounds, we all gave each other the biggest hugs in the world. And I think we went over and um, there's a place there in Palmdale called Karen's Kitchen. And I'm pretty sure we all went to Karen's Kitchen for uh, a late breakfast, early lunch, whatever it might have been, and enjoyed the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> Woo! I love this story. Um, I love my grandpa. Uh, he's he's since passed away, but to this day, you know, if you believe in guardian angels or whatnot, um, he is he is one of mine. He was my go-to guy to speak about everything, and obviously, you've all heard me talk about my dad and how much he means to me and how you know how I am who I am today because of him. So, anyway, uh, thank you so much for, for watching. Please share your story below. What is the craziest visit to a property um i mean this this thing could go so many ways so whatever story strikes you please share it below leave your comments below thank you for watching check out our swag check out our store check out real geeks check out everything below i would love to speak to you seriously 2022 is going to be the year of breakthrough it is the year of breakthrough we've already started you don't want to miss out i'll talk to you guys next week as an agent or a team leader if you're looking for the best real estate website, CRM, follow-up plan, advertisements. I mean, pretty much everything rolled into one. Check out Real Geeks. It is a, it, it will take amazing care of you and your team. It will provide you the leads. It'll help you follow up with those leads. It'll help you convert those leads. And they are always improving. Seriously, check them out. There's a link below. 